Hey there, it's time for some yoga, it's time for some wine, so pour yourself a glass and join me on your mat. So hey and welcome, I'm Lorelai, this is Namasturm Yoga. I teach a lot of intermediate level vinyasa flow classes. I like to treat my practice with a little bit of playfulness and there's kind of nothing more playful than this pairing of yoga and wine. Today I'm drinking something red that was not very expensive. I honestly don't even know what kind it is and I don't mind. Uh, we're gonna put the bottle off to the side. We may need to refill later, but get yourself a glass. This is not a super austere practice. This is not traditional. This is for fun. So. Take it with a sense of humor and have a little fun with it. I will try to incorporate the wine as we practice and maybe we can even learn something from incorporating it. All right, so let's just start off. Cheers. Here's to yoga. I'm gonna set my glass up by the top of my mat. We're just gonna take a minute in a seated position, coming to center, right? Because we do wanna think about why are we practicing today? And maybe it's because we want to drink some wine and this yoga class is giving us an opportunity to do so in a way we feel a little bit better about. I don't know. But let yourself just sit for a moment in stillness. See how you're feeling right now. Hopefully you're energized, engaged, and excited. But if you're not, hopefully you'll get there eventually. Take a couple of breaths. Let's inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. One more time, inhale. Following the breath, we are gonna do a vinyasa flow practice today. Sometimes I like to call this vinyasa yoga. If you are so inclined, feel free. If that is too cheesy for you, then call it what you like. Let's go ahead and come into hands and knees. We're gonna do some cat-cow stretches to warm up the spine. And while we have it within reaching distance. Oh, drips. One of the hazards of yoga with wine is spilling, and that might happen, right? So be in a place where that's not that big of a deal. Goal is not to break your glass, okay? So let's use that as the standard, at least. And we're also gonna try not to fall. We will be doing some balance poses, so that may come into play. Um, I like to think that our balance can be improved when we have an obstacle. We'll see. All right, let's take the right leg out to the side. And now, first opportunity to grab that glass, take a sip if you want to. We're gonna take the arm right up into the air. See if you can keep that glass steady right over your shoulder. Look at it, right? So if we don't look at it, we might tilt it, we might slosh, we might spill. <laughs> also, maybe don't have your glass way too full. By the way, you can do this with water. If you like, if you want to try the practice but you are not a wine drinker, Give it a go, see what happens. Let's take the glass back down to the mat, bringing the right knee back down, right hand back down, left leg out, grab the glass, left arm up. So this is a twist, right? So this is the point, but we get a chance to focus on something a little different. We're focusing on the balance of the glass. We're looking up at that ruby redness, or maybe you have white wine. Up to you, whatever you like. And then take that glass and bring it back to the mat. And then we're just gonna come into downward facing dog. Um, there is not a way that I have found to grab the wine glass and downward facing dog. So unless you wanna put it in the middle of your mat and drink with a straw, we're taking a break from drinking at the moment. Pedal out the feet, breathe here. I have yet to teach one of these yoga and wine classes live, but I think it would be really fun to do in a live group of people. I mostly do it virtually with everyone at home. Take a look to the front of the mat and walk the feet forward. Let's just come to simple dangling pose, standing forward fold, maybe grab opposite elbows, let your head hang. I've done this before where my hair has just dropped right into my wine glass, so you know, be mindful. We don't wanna get hair in the wine. And then as you come up, go ahead and grab that glass, rise up, and maybe take a little sip here. All right. So we're going to try to build this into the flow. On an inhale, reach the glass up into the air. 
as you exhale, folding down, and then let the glass come gently to the ground. Don't crash it down. Plant the palms. Let's step to plank. Shoulders over wrists. We're going to hold for a few breaths here. And then we're going to lower to the mat. So maybe the knees down first, at least on this first one. Up to you if you're ready for chaturanga. Lower all the way down. And then we're going to take a cobra pose. Now, if we want, hand in the center of the mat, one-handed cobra. And switch it out. Other-handed cobra. And, you know, you can do other things with your arms if you've just got one hand down. Both hands back to the mat. Moving to downward facing dog. Lift the hips high, root into the hands. Let's take the right leg into the air, open the hip and bend the knee. Point the knee to the sky, shoulders level. So this class itself, probably gonna be intermediate level. We're not gonna do any crazy complicated poses. The added complication is just the wine. Um, so hopefully these poses will seem familiar. Step the right foot forward. We're gonna to come to a high lunge. So coming up to crescent pose, glass comes with you. Please feel free to opt out anytime you feel you must. Reach the arms up, lunge deep. Now we're gonna take the left hand down and right arm up, maybe just for a little sip. And then taking it into the air, like that earlier twist, seeing if we can find that level, right? So we're almost using this glass to kind of monitor where we are in space. Are we level? Are we stable? Are we in control? And slowly bring that back to the mat or to the floor in front of you. Step to plank. Take a vinyasa here. Lower down. Take your back bend. Could be cobra, could be upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Root into the hands, lift the hips. Breathe here. Make sure you're breathing throughout the practice. I encourage the use of a new jai breath, so bring that in now. If you're not familiar, it just involves the gentle narrowing of the back of the throat and also an even rhythm. Let's take the left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, root into the hands, keep the neck relaxed here and shoulders level as we twist the low body and stretch the front of the left thigh. Look forward, step forward. We're just gonna repeat what we did on the first side. So coming to crescent pose, high lunge, bring that glass up with you. Take a sip whenever you want to. Or if you're doing this as a drinking game of some crazy sort, you know, maybe every time I say vinyasa. <laughs> And then we're gonna take the right hand down. Take the left arm up, sip if you want. And find stable, find level, find shoulders stacked. Keep the left knee over the ankle. Strong back leg, so we're getting the stretch, but our focus might be elsewhere, so maybe our body is a little less, uh, you know, we're a little less scrutinized. And that's okay sometimes to be able to have a little more freedom in our yoga. Step back to plank, follow through with your vinyasa. And holding in downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet forward. Half lift. Fold Uttanasana. So here's where we can start to incorporate this on a regular basis. Inhale, come up, take a sip. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, reach up. We're going to go through some sun A's. Exhale, forward fold. Let the glass down gently. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, to your, to your back bend. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Holding here one to five breaths. We're going to keep flowing, following the breath. This is really going to warm up our body, making the practice a little more vigorous. On an inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet. <sighs> inhale, maybe take the glass for your half lift. Exhale, folding down Uttanasana. And then inhale, come on up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Keep following the flow. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back and down. So you know the sequence. Hopefully, if you have been practicing yoga, the sun A should seem familiar. So take it in your own way if you need to modify. Holding down dog, one to five breaths. Keep going, follow the pace of your own breath here. So don't feel like you have to pick up on my rhythm. Let's do three more here. I'm gonna not cue for these three. You can follow me if you want to, because obviously I'm gonna do the movements with you. But otherwise, just give yourself a chance to take this flow on your own for the next minute or so. And then after you've made your way back to downward facing dog, take a moment to hold, and we're gonna to return to the top of the mat. Now, instead of coming all the way up to standing, let's bend the knees and sink the hips and move to chair pose, Utkatasana. Weight on the heels, knees bend deeply. They should be directly over the toes. From here, Let's bring palms together in front of the heart. Pick up the right foot and cross the ankle onto the thigh. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the other side. It doesn't matter. Do which side you want. I'm, on, I'm standing on the right foot, left ankle crossed. Now, we're going to start to fold down here over the shin. And here's an opportunity while balancing, if you'd like to, go ahead and grab your glass. Take a simple sip. Now, from here, we're gonna keep the glass in hand. We're gonna release the left foot and step it back, coming up to warrior one. Lunge deeply, reach the arms up. Maybe look up towards that glass again. It's gonna help with the balance, although we have it in two hands here. And then as we move into vinyasa, drink if you want to, or plant the glass, make your way back to down dog through our flowing sequence. Follow your breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet forward. Half lift. Fold. Utkatasana. Now, other side, so this time I'm picking up my right leg, putting it onto my left thigh, palms together in front of the heart. This is a balance pose, first of all, but it is also an opportunity for a hip opener, a little hip stretch. So as you start to fold, you might feel this deeper in that right hip or glute. And now you can reach down for the wine if you're stable. Taking a little sip, remaining in balance, and then hang on to the glass as we release the right leg and we're keeping the left knee bent. Step the right foot back, inhale, warrior one. Breathe as you lunge deep, root into the outer edge of the back foot. So alignment is also the same in the body and we wanna to try to keep this, you know, this is still a yoga practice after all. Our body should be doing what it usually does. We're just adding a different layer tonight. And then hands to the floor, vinyasa. As always, have a sip if you want to. Take them when you want to, skip them when you know. <laughs> Breathe. Now let's inhale, take the right leg up. Keep the hips square. So square hip down dog split here. And then look forward, step forward, 
Grab the glass with the right hand, back heel down, inhale, warrior one, and exhale, we're gonna open to warrior two. Adjust your back arch so it lines up with the front heel, arm out, lunging deep, looking at that glass. Front knee over ankle. Try to keep the hips level across if you have to check in with that. Now, back hand to the back leg, as you might guess, reverse warrior, while we can tip back and take us a little drink. And then, reach the arm up and over. Lunging deep. And then gently returning glass to the floor, lowering vinyasa. Make your way back to down dog. We got another side to do. Left leg up, square hip down dog split. Look forward, step forward with that left foot, right heel down, glass in left hand, inhale, warrior one, exhale, find your alignment for warrior two. Glass out in front of you, breathing. And reversing warrior. Cartwheel hands and vinyasa. This is all gonna have to get more gentle, more controlled. Take care of the glass. Listen to your body at the same time. Breathing in downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step walk or hop the feet forward. Half lift, fold. Bend the knees for Utkatasana again, chair pose. Now, we're gonna twist to the right, and as you twist, let's pick up the glass, left elbow outside the right leg, and bring the glass between the hands. So this is similar to like pressing palms, right? So this is a modified version of pressing palms. Now, standing on the right foot, step the left foot back. High lunge twist now, right arm into the air, left arm can extend outside of that right leg. Come on up, stretch back, revolve reverse warrior, and if you want. Hmm. Balance is more challenging for one reason, right? But we're doing our best. From here, we're gonna go ahead and plant the left palm down, right arm up, and we've been here before, but this time we're gonna move fully to a side plank on the left. So roll to the outer edge of the left foot and move that right foot back into place, mindful of that glass that it's staying level. Lift it up, look at it. This is beautiful, right? Huh. What a lovely thing. <laughs> what a silly thing. <laughs> Turn to the floor, Woo. careful. Vinyasa. And breathe. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop those feet. Half lift. Fold Uttanasana. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. And then twisting to the left, sweep that glass with you. Press palms or hold glass, right? Turning to the left, right elbow outside the left knee. Now standing on the left foot, that right one is gonna shoot back. Do your best with balance. So sometimes these balances or these transitions are challenging even in uh, simpler times, right? The wine might complicate things, but see if you can use it to your advantage, right? So our practice grows stronger sometimes when we throw in a complication. That's my justification and rationale behind this whole series. <laughs> mm. Now come on up, take a sip if you need to. Mm. Don't fall. Stretch back.
and then right hand down, left arm's going back up, and see if you can transition to that side plank on the right. Woo. Lift the hips, lift the gaze. Look up to your almost empty now glass. And then as you're turning back to the floor, maybe take another little sip. Don't be a daredevil. <laughs> and lower vinyasa. Back bend and downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet forward. Half lift, fold deep. We're gonna go back into a little flow here. So bend the knees. Let's take the glass on chair pose. Straighten legs to come to standing. And then inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold to Uttanasana. We're gonna take a vinyasa. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Following the breath here. <sighs> Inhale, right leg up. We're gonna do a dancing warrior. Exhale, step it forward. Grab the glass, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, glass in right hand, warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, reverse warrior. Now let's change hands with the glass. Hold extended side angle. Now, if you can, change hands again. Reverse warrior on an inhale and exhale. Placing the glass, taking the vinyasa. If you can find a way to vinyasa with a glass in hand, please leave that for me as a small video in the comments. <laughs> inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to two. Inhale, reverse, and then we're going to our extended side, dancing warrior style. If you need to, always an option. We're getting down to the bottom, <laughs> maybe time for another pour. Look to the glass, right? So this is actually, we're learning more about drishti, right? We're looking to the glass. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Keep looking to the glass. Exhale, vinyasa. So hands come to the floor with that glass. Make your way back to down dog. Breathing here just to rest for a moment. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet. Half lift. Fold Uttanasana, bend the knees, Utkatasana, grab the glass. Now, this one, some of you may need to put the glass down for, or maybe just hold it in one hand. We're gonna sink back to boat pose. Sit bones on the floor, legs up, and balance. Find your stability. If you're feeling wobbly, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> it's at that point in class, right? Okay, bringing the feet to the mat, plant your glass. We're gonna take a little reverse table, so hands behind you, plug the shoulders in, lift the hips as high as the knees, chin in or head back. Sit bones down, now. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> You're feeling really adventurous, and if you have a plastic glass, you can hold it in your feet, not me. <laughs> Boat pose, one more time. Hey, I'm gonna finish this glass, and we're gonna have another pour here. <sighs> and feet to the floor, and if you can, come back to chair. Straighten the legs, come to stand, and I'm gonna run back and get another little, a little dollop of wine. All 
All right, so let's come to Prasarita Padottanasana. Parallel feet, nice wide legged forward fold. You probably got your glass with you. Fold down, and let's just take that down between the feet. And you can bring the hands around the glass, hang your head, shift forward toward the balls of the feet. Do not knock your glass over with your head, but you know what you're doing at this point. Breathe. Now, pick up the glass as you come up, and we're gonna turn the right toes open. Turn the left toes in slightly, arms out. And actually, let's put that glass in the left hand. We're gonna come into triangle pose, trikonasana. So nice to have that glass back in the air again. Ah, lifting it up, keeping it steady. Now, we're gonna stretch back. We're gonna change hands with the glass as we do it, reaching back. Now, dancer pose. Lunge into the front knee. Glass is ahead of you. Step onto the left foot, pick up the right, inner edge of the foot. Oh, this one I love. It just seems so right, right? We're like lifting that back leg, and look, we can just simply toast. Cheers. Stabilizing that balance. Now from here, we're gonna let go of the left foot and we're just gonna step back to take a pyramid. So the front leg can stay straight and we're gonna fold down nice and simple. And feel free to let that glass return to the ground as your fingers come to the mat. Fold in. Now we're gonna take a little revolved triangle. So left fingers to the floor. That glass might return to that right hand now. Reach the arm up, find the twist. And then just because balance poses are so much fun holding wine glass, either stay put or left fingers forward floating to revolve half moon pose. Bend the front knee, step back long. We're returning to a crescent lunge. And then hands down, take a vinyasa. I'm facing the back of my mat now. It doesn't really matter, right? We're at home. We can face whatever direction we want to. And inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet forward. Half lift, fold. Let's take a chair pose, Utkatasana, come on up. Straighten legs to standing, step out wide. Second variation of prasrita. Now, I, you know, we could try, but no. Let's just put that glass down again and take hands behind the back, interlace fingers, shoulder blades together and down fold. I feel like I maybe have learned maybe where to draw the line. I don't know. If I'm over it, let me know, sorry guys. All right, while I'm, I'm taking in the aroma, <laughs> let go, come on up. And we're gonna do the other side. So getting in our standing poses, left toes turn open, right toes turn slightly to the left. Oops, wrong hand, triangle pose, Trikonasana. Classic standing pose. And then come on up, switch hands as you stretch back. And moving in to dancer pose on the second side. So stepping onto the left foot, bending the right knee behind you, grabbing the inner edge of the foot, lifting up, finding a bow stretch as you balance. And then, of course, cheers. I don't know, I feel like this is one that if I had someone opposite me, we could toast. Clink. Stepping back for pyramid pose. So front leg stays straight. Lower the back leg down, lower the glass down, lower your body down and 
fold. Try to keep the hips level here so we don't want to neglect our alignment. Breathe into this one. And then moving to revolve triangle. Right fingers to the mat, left arm goes up. Take it if you want. Twist, try to keep the back heel down and hips as level as possible. And then maybe moving to revolve half moon. Transfer your weight to the left foot, right leg floats up. Just should naturally level out with the hips here. And stepping back, high lunge. Take a good vinyasa. Find down dog again. Breathing. We're gonna drop the knees to the floor and we're gonna set up for camel pose, Ustrasana. So let's take the first one, toes tucked. So the heels are a little higher. So as we fold into this, or back bend into this one, keep the hips over the knees Maybe easy enough to reach the feet. If the hands will not reach the feet, keep them on the waist so that they're anchored. Pushing the shoulder blades into the upper back, keeping the heart up and forward, hands to the heels, chin in, or maybe head back to shoulders. Breathe. Support your waist as you come back up. Now, for a little courage, drop to a squat, malasana. We're gonna do a little bit of arm balance practice. And for many of you, this is commonplace, right? But for those of you who maybe aren't ready to do arm balances in most cases, maybe you're feeling a little bit more courageous, a little bit more uninhibited right now, so let's give it a try. Bringing your upper arms under your shins, hands to the mat. Look, we're very close to the ground here. If we were to tip and fall, we would be fine, right? If you feel scared though, put a block or a pillow even under, under your forehead. Start to take the weight to your hands, resting the shins on your upper arms, shifting your weight forward, and lightly bring the toes off the ground. See if you can hold here. Now, if you're feeling more adventurous, maybe tripod headstand lowering the head to the floor between the hands, lifting hips over shoulders and eventually legs come up into the air. Stabilize and breathe. Now, when you're ready to come down, maybe thinking about returning to crow pose, bringing shins to upper arms, and carefully picking your head up off the floor. And then at some point, we must come down. What goes up must, right? Grab the wine and, you know, hmm. Little reward for your hard work, not that we need to earn it, but let's go ahead and take another camel pose, this time extending your feet, and we're gonna use the glass in this one. So if you can, starting with one hand behind you, so it might wanna be in the middle, press down with the tops of the feet if your feet are extended. You can keep them tucked if you want to. Lift up, and then maybe reach back for those feet. Back bend numero dos. And then if you're able to stabilize through your core, stabilize through your core, stabilize through your core, change the hands. Ah, oh, lovely. And then come up. Oh, yes. And let the wine glass down nice and easy. We're going to drop to the left hip and take a good twist. So, of course, after backbending, twists are nice and neutralizing for the spine. Right knee up, use your left arm around or pass that right knee to twist right.
We are getting to the wind down port point. The wind down point, because my wine is almost gone. Let's switch to the other direction. Recross the legs and twist the other way. And from here, we're gonna make our way back to downward facing dog, which if you want this to mean vinyasa, you can take a vinyasa or modified vinyasa as you'll see me doing, but find your way back to down dog and we're gonna set up for a good pigeon stretch here because we are ready to give ourselves that final, those final poses. Let's take the right leg up and then we're gonna bring it forward right behind the right wrist, shin across the mat. Use the left toes to guide that left leg back. And in the spirit of relaxation, right, here we go. Lower on down and let go. If you can, stay with your ujjayi breath here, right? So that is really in some ways what keeps us connected to our practice, even when we're in a still pose and we're really letting go. Keep the breath flowing. And then come on up. We're gonna stretch the back quad. So supporting yourself with the right fingers as you get started here, bend the left knee, reach back, and draw the heel into the hip. If you want to take a variation here, maybe work on the balance. Now I know balance may not be easiest at this particular moment, but you can try it. Maybe take a little sip of wine here. Maybe moving towards mermaid pose, right? So I know this one is a little bit stretchier and I'm not saying that drinking wine is gonna make us more limber, but it might uh, make us a little less tense, right? So if you're finding that you can get into a stretch, then give yourself permission, but also be mindful we don't want to over stretch. Listen to your body, even though Things might feel a little different at this moment. Let that go when you're ready. Back to downward facing dog, tuck toes, lift knees and hips, of course. And if you wanna shake out that right leg, give it a little release, please do. Left leg, sweep it up into the air, and then move it forward behind the left wrist, shin across the mat. Uh, for anyone who has trouble with the knees, I'm sorry, I did not say this on the first side, but you could do the modified version of this on your back. This should not hurt your knees. This is designed to be a stretch for your hip. If your knee is healthy, it should not cause any pain in your knee to fold down over your shin. And I'm going to finish off here. That's what I got, so I'm gonna now give it up. And then bringing your upper body up, moving into your quad stretch, left fingers to support you, right knee bends, reach back behind, heel into hip. If you're wanting to explore balance, even if your glass is empty, right, you can use it as a little bit of a prop as we've been doing this whole time, truly. If you're ready to go into mermaid pose, feel free. So try to mirror what you did on the first side. Let's just say that. Release, hands to mat, good old downward facing dog, return to home base, shake out the left leg or kick through the heel here. Okay, let's take knees to the floor for a really nice simple child's pose, hips to heels, lengthen out, fold down, forehead down, breathe. And 
And you may be ready to just go to sleep now, but before then, let's just do a couple finishing stretches just to really complete the practice. So roll to your hips. Let's take the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Knees wide, let your upper body fold. Really starting to think about moving inward. Finding some calm and stillness at the end of our practice. Obviously, we had another element to this practice, but we still did a full yoga practice. We challenged our physical selves, so we want to still wind down in the same way and complete the practice so that our body is ready to let go when the practice ends. Let's go ahead and take the legs out. Maybe give them a little shift, a little shimmy, a little shake. If you have any wine left, this would be the time, finish it up. I don't, but <laughs> I'm pretending. Shake the legs and let's take Paschimottanasana, forward fold. So it could be, you know, that that glass is just gonna come down here between your feet. Breathe and let your upper body go. So really nice, simple forward fold over both legs. Try to relax your neck if you can. Breathe. And come up nice and easy, cross your legs. I do encourage you to take some time in Shavasana for sure. And if you conk out and fall asleep, so be it. But let's end from a seated position here. And I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't toast you just for making it through this whole wine yasa or wine in yoga practice. So thank you so much for joining me. I am not going to be so cavalier as to namaste with the wine, but cheers. And the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing this practice. Namaste. All right, well, I hope you had a little fun. I know I did. I know I'm feeling a little, a little looser and a little sillier at this point. <laughs> if you did enjoy this, please give the video a thumbs up and you know, share it with people. If you live in Chicago and you want me to come to your bachelorette party, <laughs> send me a message and let me know because I would love to do this kind of practice in person. Um, I do have several other wine yasa or wine and yoga classes on my channel. If that's your thing, check them out, but I also do teach like straight up vinyasa classes. So if you liked the practice itself, whether you enjoyed the wine or not, then check out some of my other classes. I have an awful lot of them and I really do enjoy teaching a kind of nice, somewhat vigorous intermediate level style. This is great for things like yoga teachers who just want sequences or people who've practiced a lot and who want to challenge themselves, but who don't want to spend the money to go to a yoga class, let's be honest. So subscribe to my channel if you're interested in any of those things. Thank you so much, and I hope you'll join me next time. Take care. Bye-bye.